What's good, YouTube? I got a rare build for you today. It's gonna be a facilitating shooter. It's really gonna be some heat, bro, in a couple of ways. But hit that like button and hit that sub button. Hit them post notice too, bro. We're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go small forward on this build. And you wanna go 6'10. So you're taking weight all the way down to minimum. And being 6'10 at the small forward position is just a little bit different from the power forward because you you literally two notches faster than the power forward is at 6'10, bruh. And your speed, acceleration, and your speed with ball area, bruh. But we're going to go 7'7 seven, seven on the wingspan. And we're going to put up the speed and acceleration off rip. Your stamina, we're going to put that at 96. Off rip, we're going to hit the shooting. Now, we're going to hit the finishing, bruh. And this build is fire, bruh. Yo, hold on. Now, nah, we're not even going to hit the finishing first, bruh. We're going to hit the shooting. So, we're going to max out the three ball. And your mid range, you're going to want to put that at 82. Your free throw you go 73 so we good right here and we getting 23 shooting badges not just the amount of shooting badges you got it's the badges that you unlock bro you see you getting all silver badges pretty much you don't got no bronze badges and you know being a big man especially having defense bro you you usually will have less shooting badges and Less silvers, bro. For real, for bro. You got a Hall of Fame sniper. You got a Hall of Fame volume shooter. Fade ace, everything like that. So, this is a little bit better, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. But more than a little bit. Because the amount of badges you got, you really could stack them up. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But we're going to hit the finishing on this build, bro. So, you're going to want to max out your standing dunk. And going 99 on your standard dunk, that's unlocking all the Hall of Fame finishing badges, bro. So you see you getting that Hall of Fame posterizer and a Hall of Fame rise up. That pairs, bro, with your contact dunk. So peep this, bro. <laughs> you 6'10 at the small forward. A lot of people might think only 6'10 power forwards and centers get the standard contact dunks, bro. But no... Bruh, <laughs> small fours at 16, get them two, bruh. So, put in your, your standing dunk up to, bruh, it's either 90 or 95 that unlock the, the elite standing contact dunks. I think it's 90, bruh, but we going 99 on this build, so it really don't even matter, you feel me? But we is going to want to put that vertical up to 75, and if you was just going for the for the pro content wait nah hold on bro yo it might be 85 standing up now that i think about it for real for real, bro i think it's they unlocked that like nah 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 for a fact bro it's it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not 85 bro but we good at 90 99 for sure just trying to see if i could remember offhand bro yo it's really so many requirements and thresholds we gotta hit this year bruh but contact dunks badges bruh everything it's a lot to remember i ain't even gonna lie but we gonna go 90 on the close shot so with this with this build bruh on a 610 small four you gonna have the ability to space the floor out and you gonna you gonna have the ability to slash to the rack Stand in the paint, bruh. Get your hook specialist on. Fade ace, bruh. Standing dunks, everything, bruh. You really can do everything on this small forward build, bruh. So we're going to take your driving dunk up to 75. And not only is that giving you more badges, but that's unlocking your limitless takeoff, your slithery finisher. Two important badges, bruh. You're getting them both silver. And honestly, bro, that's two badges. I, for real, for real, bro. Honestly, you could throw on the slithery and you wouldn't have to put on the limitless takeoff. 
But that limitless takeoff is tough, bro. And you get it on silver, not just bronze. I wouldn't really recommend putting it on bronze, though. I got to say that. And we're going to get to your defense on this build, bro. So this really some pressure, bro. This really a rare build. And you getting it at 610 with standing contact dunks, bro. We're going to go 74 on the interior defense. Your steel, you're going to max that out. Your block, you're going to want to go 97. And your defensive rebound, bruh. We're going to put that at 82. Put that at 82 and go 57 on your offensive rebound. So we good right here. You got 22, 23, and 22. And this really tough, bruh, because you still got the interior defense. Your interior defense only go up to about 80, 81, bro, for real, for real. We got it at 74, so that's not far off from the max. But you do got your rebound chaser. You got Hall of Fame box, Hall of Fame rim protector, intimidator, bro, chase down, bro. There's really some pressure. We're going to go to the playmaking, though. And on this facilitating shooter, bro, this really exactly what the build say it is bro you pretty much gonna go yeah you maxing both of these out bro and you see you getting silver playmaking badges bro at 610 not just the bronze badges bro bronze quick first step bronze you feel me unpluckable bro everything like that glue hands the glue hands is another badge that you definitely gonna have and being on any kind of spot up build, any kind of really bruh slashers too, bruh. <laughs> you feel me? I think most big should have glue hands on too, bruh. But we getting it on gold on this build, and we got enough playmaking badges to throw that on, bruh. This some pressure. You wanna go to the takeovers, but bruh, you got 22, 23, 18, and 22. And you see the Hall of Fame badges that we get, in, bro. That, those really the most important. I'm not even gonna hold you. It's a lot of silver badges that we get in that stack on top of those, bro. But I'm gonna show y'all where to set them at. We gonna go to the takeovers on this 610, bro. Again, you got guard takeovers. You got the shot creating, sharp playmaking. Then you got the rim takes. I probably would go with. Uh, playmaking take yo you could be you could really be a team player bro and go for that team takeover boost and go with the sharp bro but nah nah hold on bro yo that rim takeover bro yeah, yeah, yeah I probably would go with one of the rim takes too bro but you got a facilitating shooter and we're gonna get to the badges. I'm gonna go through them real quick. We got fast twitch, limitless takeoff. And bro, yo, if you if you not posting up often, bro, you don't gotta go with the unstrippable. You don't gotta worry about being stripped on like drives and everything, bro. That's really more for more for posting up and everything so if you got your hook specialist off bruh you probably could just go with these badges right here and everything or throw that uh grace under pressure on and for your shooting badges you can add extra shooting badges too but i probably would add a couple of defensive badges if you're coming from the colleges and everything yeah, I probably would go, yo, what, what college even give the defensive badges for real, for real, because you can't get, I don't think you could get a, you you can't get plus four defensive badges from no college, it's like three and one or something like that, you feel me, but we gonna rock with the corner specialist too, we gonna put that on bronze, and then you still got enough points for fade ace, volume shooter, 
we got the one these. And yeah, yo, for a fact, I probably, I probably would go with the volume shooter at that point. You could either go a volume shooter, limitless, fade ace, green machine that I stop and pop good too. If you, if you actually handle the ball at any point, bro, like. Even if you're just catching it, dribbling to the side and everything, bro, that's a stop and pop shot. As long as it's from the three. But you got blue hands you want to throw that on. Unpluckable. Post playmaker. Dimer. Quick first step. Definitely don't got to put on handles for days, but you can if you want to. Bullet passer. And you can put the space grader on. You can take down that the glue hands too if you want to spread those badges bruh i know how y'all feel about glue hands bruh but i know what it do you feel me so i know what builds to throw it on and this is a build you actually gonna want to put it on bruh for your defensive badges we gonna go chase down silver interceptor pogo rim intimidator Rebound chaser, hustler. And worm and box, bro. We good right here. But I'm going to hit y'all in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.